Hi boys and girls, welcome to story time. Today we get to walk through the book and we're working on the letter U for Upton Umbrella, as you can see behind me. The name of our book is The Big Umbrella. Front cover, back cover, and spine. The author's name is Amy June Bates. Co-written with Juniper Bates. Juniper, that's how you say it. So maybe Juniper might be the daughter? Hmm, I found a picture. Let's see what they look like. Oh, here they are. It says here, that's her daughter. See, there they are, mother and daughter. Oh, they love each other. How sweet. They must have so much fun writing this book together, don't you think? So let's get started on our vocabulary words first. Here we go. Our first vocabulary word is umbrella. Um, an umbrella is a piece of material that stretches over a frame and opens and closes, used for rain or shine. Our next vocabulary word is friendly. Are you friendly? Friendly means showing kindness, to be nice and caring. Even animals can be friendly or not friendly, right? So we have to be careful. Our next vocabulary word is plaid. Plaid is a cloth with a pattern of stripes, sometimes in squares. Sometimes two colors, sometimes more. Are you wearing plaid today? Our next vocabulary word is tall. Tall is something or someone that has a lot of height. Like a giraffe. A giraffe is tall. Our next vocabulary word is shelter. A shelter is a structure that could be made of many things, even a box to protect from the weather and to keep safe. Animals find shelter in a cave. Sometimes people, when it's raining, they might get a box and they go inside the box and it's shelter to protect them from the weather. Our next vocabulary word and our last one is wide, wide. You see this rectangle? is wider than this one, right? So this one's wide. Wide means there's more space. Wide. So with the book, if I hold the book like this, it's wide. And I hold it like this, is it still wide? Yes, it is. But when I hold it like this, it's more wide, right? So that's what the word wide means. Let's get started on our walkthrough see what happens in this story. The Big Umbrella by Amy June Bates and co-written by Juniper Bates. Co-written means she helped out. They were like a learning team. Oh, look at that big house. This house looks tall, tall. Let's see. I want to make sure I have the right first page. Sometimes my fingers get dry. Oh, what do you see here, my friends? What do you see? I see an umbrella. The front door. I wonder what's happening for, with that umbrella. What do you think? You think they're going to use the umbrella? Where is this little girl going? And she's wearing a raincoat and some galoshes on her feet, right? Think she's gonna go dance in the rain or she's gonna go play in the rain? Let's see what else we can find here. Oh, look, look at the city and look at the top of the umbrella. Do you see the dark clouds here on the top? You think it's gonna rain hard? Dark clouds are a good sign of rain, did you know? Well, sometimes if you go outside and you look up you see a lot of dark clouds. That's a good sign that's going to rain. Oh my goodness, look at the umbrella. What a happy umbrella. Why do you think this umbrella looks so happy? 
If you were an umbrella, what color umbrella would you be? I think red, red is beautiful, but my favorite color is purple. All right, let's see what happens here. Oh, look at the leaves on the sun, just shining. And the wind is blowing the leaves around. This is a nice book so far. Oh, look, at it. it's raining. Do you think the little girl's under the umbrella? I think so. Where do you think she's at? You think she's at the park? You think she's walking at downtown Disney? <laughs> oh, do you think she found a friend? And the friend's getting wet. What do you think she said to her friend? I think she's being friendly. What do you think? Oh my goodness. Let's look at the umbrella now. Do you see more people under the umbrella? Let's count. Did I miss a page? Or did all these friends just come? Let's see. I don't think I missed a page. I did not. So now we have one, two, three, four friends. And I think I see a ballerina and a basketball player. What do you think? Hmm. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Whose legs do you think these are? They look pretty tall, don't they? And is, do you think it's a bird or a duck? What kind of animal is it? It can't be a dog, right? What do you think? Hmm, we have to use our imagination, right? Let's see what's next. What? what? What's this? What is this? And look what's under the umbrella. Uh-oh, how did that get under there? What do you guys think that is? It's not a gorilla. What could it be? It looks friendly to me. What do you think? Think it's friendly? I think so. Let's see. Someone else. Oh, look. They're wearing one of our vocabulary words. Where is it at? There it is. Look. They're wearing that pattern. Do you see it? Can you see that pattern? Do you remember what, the, what it's called? It starts with a p, p sound. Think about it, okay? See if you remember that vocabulary word. Turning the page. Sometimes the pages get stuck together. Oh my goodness, this umbrella is getting pretty big. What do you think? Is this umbrella getting wider? And wider and wider. What do you think? How is that happening? Oh, look, I didn't see the doggy. Look at the doggy's face. Oh, I don't think this doggy wants to get wet. Do you? I don't think so. Oh, I forgot to see, show you something. I have to show you. Look. Look, look at the little chicks. One, two, three. Oh, I can't believe I didn't see that. That's why it's good to take our time, right? Get to see every little detail in your story. Sometimes the little details tell you a lot about the story. Let's see what's happening here. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at how wide this umbrella got. Can you see all the different people? and animals underneath this amazing umbrella. I even see roller skates. Do you? My goodness. I can't wait to read the words on this book. Let's see. Let's turn the page. You're not going to believe this. You're right. The umbrella got wider. But the umbrella looks happy still. Wow, that is a lot of people and animals. Let's look really close. What do you see? I even see a wheelchair. What do you see? 
Oh my, oh look at the ballerina, she's dancing. And there's a baby with a stroller. Oh my goodness. There's people wearing boots. And there's people with crutches. This umbrella is so friendly. It's amazing how wide it's getting. Do you think it's gonna get more wider? Let's see. The sun came out. Look. The sun came out. Do you think it's gonna stop raining? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, look. Everybody's just walking on their way. They're just all having a nice day riding their bikes, dancing, playing basketball. What do you see in this picture? I'm going to back a little bit so you can see. What do you see here? Do you see boys? Do you see girls? Do you see mommies and daddies and grandpas and grandmas? Do you see any animals? Do you see any toys? Well, this is an amazing book. And that was an amazing umbrella. Tomorrow we're going to read the first half, then the next half. Okay, my friends? I hope you enjoyed this wonderful book named, or titled, I should say, The Big Umbrella. Till tomorrow, my friends. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget, have fun being you.